What is up guys, it is Blue here today for Aura Studios and uh, today I'm going to be bringing you our first sort of genuine proper video so yeah leave a like and comment for that and uh, yeah let's, uh, let's just sort of jump straight into it so it's the Sony Vegas tutorial we're doing today uh, screen pumps and screen flashes I'll be teaching you today so this is kind of the look we're going for quickly rushed, I literally just did this before the tutorial. Um, obviously yours is going to look a lot better than that one. So um, yeah, let's just jump straight into it, shall we? So, we'll, uh, we'll delete this track. Let's just delete all these. There we are, right. So this is the track I'm going to use, it's just got a nice solid beat. What you want to, the thing is this, I wouldn't recommend, a, you know, this kind of song, but try and find a song that when you drop it in, you can sort of see where the beat. Uh, so here you can see what bright changes, right? There's usually a pattern for the beat. So as you can see, look, this is going to be a, a boom. See? So yeah, um, you want to try and find one that you can you can easily find. Um, you can easily find the uh, the bass and uh, the drums and you know every, oh, the beat you want to sync to. Really, you just want to be able to find you know where they where they peak and things, just so you can match it up perfectly. Right. Let's, just, uh, let's get this clip from Caesar. Right. So first, what you want to do is obviously sync it. You know, sync it up where you want it to start. Obviously, I think I'll go start here. I think. I'm just here because here we've got a nice little snare that I want to show you um, a trick with. Right. So. Okay, so now that we've got our clip all synced up, now it's time to um, put down our markers, split the track uh, and the video clip up, and start, you know, making the effect work. So, um, first what you want to do, scroll in a bit. You can play it, you can just, you just try and match up. So you'll listen through this, and you've got to try and match up. And try and drop a marker by pressing the M key on the keyboard. Right? Um, try and drop a marker when you know the snare goes or the beat or whatever. In this case, it actually starts. Starts with it, which is kind of awkward. So I just drag that out of it. I think it's actually here. This is this is weird. It can't be there, surely. It's like smack here. So, right, what, what we'll do is because for the snare, I had a, I have these, I have a different idea, right? So for the snare, um, I thought, why not add flash? So if we go here to brightness and contrast, I've got a little preset. So actually, screen pump. Uh, it's, by the way, to save a uh, preset, you can copy these quickly, but. Um, to save a uh, preset, you just literally tap here, and then you just type, click the save button, and it will save it up here, so your settings will always be saved. So yeah, these are the settings I'd use. Oh yeah, hold up. So yeah, coming back to it, and now you need to animate it quickly. So now, 
thing is, with the screen, you don't want it to be through the whole clip or anything. You want it just to be a few seconds. Um, by the way, you need to make sure this button is clicked so this matches up with this timeline. Right, so... I'd say about literally two or three seconds, depending on depending on the frames um, per second the video is, really. I mean, if it's a 30 FPS clip, I'd say, like, two or three is perfect. Oh, I clicked the wrong button then, didn't I? Fuck. Right, so, yeah, I'd just say about two frames is probably perfect here today. One, two. Add a keyframe. And on this keyframe, just... Don't you tap this little drop down arrow, click default, close it, and you'll be left with this. See that? So, let's just pre render that. Already you can sign a kind of simple effect coming in. And now you literally just find the other screen pumps. Yeah. So I uh, press S. Oh. Make sure you select your clip. Press S on the keyboard to split it, and then press an M for a marker. M for a marker just helps you match it up a bit easier sometimes. Makes the workflow a lot easier. I'll try and find this one now. So here we then go. Um, well, what, what you can do, right? Uh, if you go to the first clip you did with the flash, you um, press Control and C or copy. Make sure that your clips are split up. That so they're all split up. Go here and click Paste Event Attributes, and what it does is it pastes all the settings you had for this one and puts it in here. So now our flash on three of these clips. I think there's one last one here. There's one more. <laughs> Marker. Yeah. I'm just going to set marker right there. And I'm going to. I mean, it's not exact on. That's what happens with the. If your clip isn't, you know, quite the right F, uh, frames per second, sometimes you might get just slightly off. But honestly, the closer, the closer you are, the better. Just try and get as close as possible. I mean. It, it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. But anyway, uh, oh shit, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to leave a marker here just because this is, as you can see, this is quite an obvious, this big one here, this is going to be a, you can hear that. <laughs> boom, boom. So, uh, yeah, right, let's find this last screen. Pump. I can't find it. Right, uh. Come on. I'm going to just guess here. It looks obvious. It just looks bigger here. Yes, right. Then we paste event attributes. Now we are simply left with. Pretty, pretty basic flashes. I mean, you can do anything. You could use magic bullet looks. You could do anything. So, when I say you can use magic bullet looks, instead of dropping down brightness, you could drop down a slightly brighter CC than the other clips. So you have to, you know, you'll need um, two uh, magic bullet looks um, presets saved. And if you have a slightly brighter one, you put that in as it pumps, and then um, you'll get this obviously the same effect. Oops. I know, right? The song's going. What's going on? I knew what was going on. Right. So let's go to the first. Oh, the closer we can get to the first boom here, the first bass drop, or bass, or whatever you call it, snare, thing. I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a clever, okay, so, what we do is, we go into a video event effects, and we go to pan and crop, 
which is, if you don't know, you can right click and click pan crop, or you can click the little screen here. And you just drag in like that as much as you want. I'm going to go a little crazy. I mean, you could do this again with any effect. You could do it with a vertigo bounce effect. You could do anything in that. that I mean, that could look quite cool. Anyway, let me go. Oh, shit. I'd say about literally a frame. Just because it's literally. I mean, that's like the end of the snare, isn't it, really? Okay, I'm just going to call them snares, okay, guys? It's like the end of the snare, really. So let's just have a look at that. Yeah, I mean, you can't really see what's going on. Um, let me copy, and then let's go find the other one. Is that one there? See, there, this, this, this is an ideal song. That's such a big. I'm just going to rush this one, it's just for tutorial purposes, I'm just going to rush this one. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong one. Right, um... Kind of the idea here for the effect, if I look. So yeah, basically, I want, my tip really here is just use the screen pumps for you know bigger snares, and then for the little t -t 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 snares, just use like um, a flash or something. I mean, it just in my opinion that just looks good. You could sort that around. You could go crazy, but. but yeah, you I mean you see, kind of see the effect we were uh, going for there, but yeah. Um, thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you stay tuned for the next tutorial and uh, yeah, subscribe like comment share it around whatever and uh, yeah, peace